Hey folks, it's Rob with Vandroid.com. I'm here with the Samsung Moment, which is the new Samsung uh, Android phone coming after November 1st, so right after the uh, Sprint HTC Hero. Um, it's running vanilla Android, so you've got the three screens uh, for the home screens. You've got Sprint services on here with Sprint TV, uh, NFL Live, and I'm get, uh, yeah NASCAR, and then Sprint Navigation, which is Telenav. Um, you've got the two hardware buttons, the call and the end, an optical mouse, which I thought was pretty mediocre. Uh, and then interestingly enough, these buttons, the home button, the menu button, and the back button are just touch, so they don't click. It's just uh, it's just like the touch screen in the gesture area. Uh, it's 320 by 480 uh, pixel resolution on the screen, 3.2 inches. You've got a 3.2 megapixel camera on the back with flash and autofocus. Uh, ships with Android 1.5. I'm not sure if it's going to update to 1.6 uh, soon after they launch it. But the HTC Hero for Sprint should have 1.6, so I'm guessing um, they should update to 1.6 relatively soon. Um, you've got a 3.5 millimeter headset jack on the top with the rubber casing and the micro or uh, USB that is plugged in here on the side. Um, there's a dedicated camera button. And what is this? The mute button here? Do you know what this button is here? No chance? Nope. So, I'm about to get... Uh, looks like it might be, might be the mute button. Uh, we've got the volume keys on the side. The volume rocker. And that is pretty much it, except for the keyboard. The keyboard's actually really good. I was typing with it for quite a while. Um, works really well. Four rows, so accessing the numbers is really easy. Uh, and it has a nice... The, the buttons have a nice give to them, but a very clicky feel. So um, That's it, folks. The Samsung Moment. Sprint's second Android phone by the time it comes out on November 1st. And uh, we'll have details and specs and everything like that on the website, so check it soon. Thanks, guys.